Nine-year-old Carter Gray and his seven-year-old sister Etta had just visited their grandparents and were heading home to Orlando as unaccompanied minors on Frontier Airlines. But when the flight was diverted to Atlanta overnight, their parents say the nightmare began. No supervisor tried to call, no um, phone call, no emails. They say they only knew what city their children were in because they were following the flight on an app. Chad Gray says his son had to borrow a phone to text him and that they were taken to a hotel at 4 a.m. For Frontier to leave that messaging in the hands of a seven and a nine-year-old, to me, I think is, you know, really unacceptable. Frontier telling NBC News in part, our records show the children were in contact with their parents and that they were attended to at all times by a Frontier supervisor, placed in a hotel room overnight and provided with food. But Gray says his children were given only Rice Krispie treats that night and put in one hotel room with six other unaccompanied minors. His son in the same bed with a boy five years older. You know, I think they were scared. Um, they just didn't know what to do. The FAA does not have any blanket federal regulations uh, when it comes to unaccompanied minors, so every airline must come up with its own policy. Tonight, the Grays say their kids will not be flying alone again. Tammy Leitner, NBC News. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.